The best diplomatic efforts of the Western powers could not stop Hitler's growing ambitions and only ignited his hunger for more conquests. Poland was invaded by the German army and it is time for the United Kingdom to declare war on Germany and intervene. There is no solidarity in the ruling bodies as many are still reluctant to enter the war for the sake of Poland. Yet, shrewd statesmen already see that there is no room left for the political negotiations. From now on, the only valid argument is military strength. You will take the role of Sir Harold Alexander, an experienced and talented British commander. Your task is to get the most out of every situation and lead the British troops to their ultimate victory, however far it may seem. His Majesty King George VI, the Prime Minister Winston Churchill and the British people have put their trust and their hopes in you. Do not let them down, Sir Harold. So much for our efforts to appease Hitler. It took those dreamers of the parliament long enough to realize dictators only understand overwhelming power. Well, my troops are ready and eager to drive the Germans back into Germany. I wish the French were also ready. I've seen their frontline troops. They're more rabble than an army. Still, we have more than enough forces to throw the Germans back into their barracks before Poland is overrun. The Siegfried Line won't stop us. It's both unfinished and undermanned. Our politicians disagree. They declared war on Germany, but it seems like they expect Hitler to back off because of some harsh words. I take it Prime Minister Chamberlain won't authorize an offensive operation? He won't. I will get him to come around eventually, but we'll lose precious time while he dithers and dallies. How much more time does he want? If the French and the British don't strike now, Poland is doomed. Along with their hopes of resolving this war quickly. I'm telling you, the French are not ready to strike. And I won't risk our expeditionary force all by itself. If the French aren't ready now, they won't be any more ready in a year. They'll learn to fight once they get into action. We must strike now when the German defenses are weak. That is true. But I won't waste my men's lives. Brooke is right. We need a clear plan. Finally, a measured opinion. The situation is anything but clear. Gentlemen, any ideas on how we tackle this operation? General Alexander, Prime Minister Chamberlain was against our involvement in the Tsar Offensive, but I managed to convince him this would show our solidarity with the French in our willingness to take decisive action. Nonetheless, keep in mind that this is chiefly a French affair. Avoid pointless heroics and try to keep our troops unharmed. Your main task here will be to capture a lodgment for a continued offensive. Capture the picket at the German border and the city of Hornbach. Understood, sir. We'll begin immediately. General Alexander, our forward units report numerous minefields around enemy positions. Would have been odd if there weren't. Tell the field commanders to keep their eyes peeled and send the sappers in if there's so much as a whiff of a mine ahead. We need those minefields cleared before we start maneuvering. His Majesty's own disappointment. Onwards! Need a scout? The forces are comprised of both core and non-core units. Core unit strength indicator is green and round shaped, and for non-core units it is yellow and hexagon shaped. Non-core units are allocated for one mission only, while the core units will accompany you throughout the campaign. You will be able to level them up and provide them with new equipment. These units are the ones which should be under your primary protection. Loaded to the brim. Bombs away!
Ammunition and fuel icons next to a unit strength will allow you to quickly get important information about it. If the unit is still able to move during the current turn, the canister icon will be green. If it can no longer move, the icon will be gray. Likewise, the ammunition icon shows whether the unit is attacked this turn. If the unit is low on ammunition or fuel... General Alexander, I am sending you more reinforcements as we speak. The Matilda II heavy tanks, among others. Try to keep them where they can maneuver, and no enemy weapon will pierce their armor. Greetings, General Alexander. An MI6 agent contacted me recently and mentioned that a shipment of machine guns has just been transferred to a warehouse in Walsheim. I believe a small detour is now in order. According to the plan, Walsheim is to be captured by the French. But then, if we're in a position to get there first, what's the harm? One cannot tell these German names from each other. Mistakes are bound to be made. Thank you, General Menzies. Got a job for a tank? Move into coordinates. We bring the firepower. Very well, we're moving. Artillery is the basis of the firepower of your forces. It can weaken enemy fortifications to allow your troops to attack without heavy losses. It is also good for defense, as it provides fire support to the ground units within its range. However, its main strength is its long firing range, which allows you to destroy the enemy troops from afar. Remember though, artillery is vulnerable to aircraft attacks and in close combat, so it needs to be protected. Fighter planes are vital for gaining air superiority. Keep your fighters close to allied aircraft you want to protect, and they will provide fire support. Fighters are able to attack ground targets, although with low efficiency. They can use the Overwatch breakthrough skill to counter enemy anti-aircraft fire and clear the way for tactical bombers. I'm listening. We'll take point. Damage is indicated with the numbers above the unit being attacked. For ground and aircraft units, there are two types of damage, lethal and non-lethal. Both lethal and non-lethal damage decrease the unit's strength. However, non-lethal damage at the same time increases the number of units' damage, which can later be restored. Naval units always receive only lethal damage, however they have multiple ship parts with their corresponding HP, thus damage against them is split. Ship parts except the hull are repaired over time by ship maintenance. Hull HP cannot be restored in any way during the operation. Attention! Ambush up ahead! Attention! Ambush up ahead! Locked and loaded! Time to make some noise! 
Infantry is good for assaulting the enemy positions after the artillery and air bombardment. It is also the best unit for storming cities, mountains, forests, and well-entrenched positions. A well-entrenched infantry is a tough target for the enemy assault. Make Calibar standing by. Change in positions. This unit has heavy equipment. Units with heavy equipment cannot move if they do not have ground transport. Additionally, they cannot board air transport and can only disembark from naval transport at a seaport. A soldiering life for me. Reconnaissance is extremely important in an offensive, since it provides you with full intelligence information regarding the presence of enemy forces, thus making your attack more effective. A reconnaissance unit can move several times per turn, as long as it has move points left. Once the reconnaissance unit notices the enemy, it automatically stops and then can move again. If an enemy surrenders to your reconnaissance unit, it gains full information about all the enemy units nearby. Got a job for a tank? Earth Shakers are here. Tanks are ideal for a rapid offensive and open terrain. However, they are vulnerable in close quarters to the infantry units in difficult terrain, such as cities, mountains, forests, swamps, shallows, and well entrenched infantry units. Just tell us where to go. Tank ready for action. Guarding the Empire. Target in sight. You can't outrun this tank, mate. We captured the position. Be careful. Walsheim is ours, General Alexander. You should have seen the faces of those French officers when they saw our Union Jack flying over the town hall. And we found those German MGs. No match for our Vickers, but not bad either. We're allies, of course, but it's always a pleasure to show the Frenchies who's the best at waging war. Understood. Moving. God, please don't be sentry duty. Ah, gl Tactical bombers are flying artillery and a great tool for wreaking havoc on any enemy troops, although you have to be careful of the anti-aircraft units overwatch and fire support. Tommies are here. I spy with my little eye. On a bombing run. Confirmed here.
Our timing is always impeccable. Hidden enemy up ahead. It's ours now. The Gunners are here! Hey you! Catch! Guns of the United Kingdom! His Majesty's own disappointment. God, please. All city, forest, and mountain terrain offer much better protection from enemy attacks. Right click an empty hexagon to learn more about its terrain. Orders confirmed for the Empire. We'll sneak upon them. Anti tank artillery is effective against tanks and other hard targets. Your best tactic when using anti tank artillery is to position it next to your other forces to provide them with fire support versus attacks from enemy tanks. Anti-aircraft gun standing by. Do we get an escort? Wait, we don't? Giving it all we've got. On our way. You know the rules, and so do I. On our way to the coordinates. Fly fast, hit hard. Commencing bombardment. Ready to put the fear of God in them. Tanks awaiting orders. Say goodbye. Nobody will stay hidden for long. Beware the fire support of the enemy artillery if you attack enemy troops with an artillery unit nearby. In a jiffy? We'll punch them full of holes. His Majesty's tank killers. Very well, we're moving. We bring the firepower. Ready to put the fear of God in them. We bring the firepower. Your unit has been withdrawn from a supply zone. The delivery of supplies to the unit has been stopped. The supply zone is marked with a white box symbol in the upper corner of each hexagon while the unit is selected. Phew, time for a breather. Affirmative. Guns of the United Kingdom. Tank squadron reporting. Hit him.
ready to flatten some fools. Locked and loaded. Come and get one in the orbals. Where do you need us? Form up, form up. You have selected an entrenched unit. When a ground unit finishes its turn while still being able to move, it gains one level of entrenchment. The unit can have up to six levels of entrenchment. Each level of entrenchment increases all defenses by one. The unit loses all levels of entrenchment when it moves. Naval and aircraft units cannot gain entrenchment. Each attack against an entrenched unit reduces the entrenchment level by one. Aye, Commander. Recon units standing by. An anti-aircraft unit is a powerful and versatile weapon. Its main purpose is to protect your forces from enemy aircraft by overwatch, fire support, and direct attack of the enemy. However, it can also effectively combat ground units. Large caliber anti-aircraft artillery is a good weapon for destroying enemy tanks. On our last bombs! Rain fire! Moving the clouds. Ammo is about to run out. Got a job for a tank? Tank ready for action. Coordinates received. Target in sight. You can't outrun this tank, mate. We'll hope you have captured an enemy supply point intact. It can now be used to supply your troops. Ammo is about to run out. Approaching target. Flight cannon ready for duty. Earth shakers are here. I just unit has just triggered an overrun skill. Every time a unit with an overrun skill defeats an enemy unit, it gains the ability to move and attack again. We're moving. Target acquired. Target destroyed. It's ours. Our aircraft can now use this airfield. Strategic location captured. Hidden enemy up ahead. Ammo reserves empty. Need a new payload. Tank ready for action. At full speed. Earth shakers are here. Orders confirmed. Earth shakers are here. Recon unit reporting. On a bombing run. Infantry standing by. There in a minute. Officer approaching. Making our way there. Ready to flatten some fools. Standing by, sir. Which way towards battle? Sounds like a plan. Affirmative. Tank ready for action. At full speed. 
fire. This unit has run out of ammunition. Move it within the supply zone to resupply it. Supply zone is marked with a white box symbol in the upper corner of each hexagon while the unit is selected. Coordinates received. Watch out, it's anti-aircraft overwatch fire. It is costly to attack the enemy positions protected by anti-aircraft units. Try making a preliminary attack on the enemy anti-aircraft units to disable Beware of ambushes. Getting into an ambush delays the offensive and burdens your units with unnecessary losses. To avoid being ambushed, you should first use reconnaissance to scout the route you are going to follow and locate enemy troops so they cannot take you by surprise. Got a job for a tank? Well, blow them to kingdom come. Infantry standing by. God, please don't be sentry duty. Form up, form up. God, please don't be sentry duty. Understood, moving. Our timing is always impeccable. Wait, I see the enemy. Guns of the United Kingdom. Tactical bomber standing by. Share these rations. Eyes peeled for enemy fighters. Nobody will stay hidden for long. On a bombing run. Tank ready for action. Hit him! His Majesty's own disappointment. Guarding the Empire. At full speed. For the Empire! Big Caliber standing by. Form up, form up. On His Majesty's service. Giving it all we've got. You can't hide. Got a job for a tank? Infantry awaiting orders. Forward boys, attack. That one won't be getting up. Just tell us where to go. It's ours now. We'll get it done. We captured the- His Majesty's forces are now in control of the German border outposts. I have to say the Germans don't seem too eager to resist. Most of their forces are still in the rear. I don't like this. Keep your wits about you. There must be a reason the Germans are stalling. I'm sure they have a cunning plan. They should, for their own sake. Now, you must capture the airfield in Brightfort. Do this, and we'll be able to reinforce you with some aviation. Understood, sir. We're on the move. We took the Brightfort airfield, General Burke. Splendid. The reinforcements are on their way. As promised, I have dispatched some aviation to strengthen your troops. Your next target is to approach the Siegfried Line by capturing the key points close to it. The cities of Rubenheim, Manzelbachtal, Ormesheim, and Halberg. to 
make some noise? Royal Tank Busters are here. Loaded to the brim. The Saints are coming. Boy, people are quick with a bomber overhead. What is your order? Infantry awaiting orders. Got a job for a tank? Orders confirmed. Hit him! Save that for the combat record. Open fire! Most of the minefields have been cleared, General. Good work. Credit to our sappers. Stand by for a bumpy ride. Tank ready for action. Where do you need us? The RAF have arrived. Watching out for bogeys. For the king, etc., etc. General Alexander, the Germans are counterattacking. Looks like they've found their fighting spirit at last. Requesting permission to break some teeth. Care package incoming. Make it so, Montgomery. Remind the Germans of the fear we put in their grandfathers back in 1918. We're on the move again. You can't outrun this tank, mate. Coordinates received. Deader than a doornail. Adjust an aim. Orders confirmed. His Majesty's tank killers. Coordinates received. Time for tea and maintenance. Tea time, everyone. Captured for king and country. Royal fighters standing by. We'll take point. Bomber squadron ready for duty. Moving to the new quadrant. Eyes peeled for enemy fighters. Ready to make some craters. Need a scout?
On His Majesty's service. Oh, we'll mess him up. Fort Garrisons target the area and open fire at any soft target entering its firing zone. You can click on a fort to see where it can attack your troops. Shell the fortification with artillery or bomb it from the air. The fort can also be outflanked from the rear. Flamethrower's equipment is an excellent way to deal with enemy forts and other fortifications. Where do you need us? Anybody call for big boomers? Time to make some noise! Ready to crack some tanks open. Big caliber standing by. Tangent positions. Infantry awaiting orders. On His Majesty's service. Recon unit reporting. Understood. We bring the firepower. Guarding the Empire. Fire the main caliber! Got a job for a tank? Anti-tank cannon reporting. Making tracks. Open fire! Strike hard, strike fast. No mercy. No escaping us. Rain fire! Enemies scattering like rats! God save the king! Fighter squadron ready for duty! Approaching target! Ha! Call a meat wagon for that one! Affirmative! The RAF have arrived! Squadron en route. For the king, etc., etc. Affirmative. Keep calm and bomb the bad guy. Care package incoming. Received. Heading there now. Orders confirmed. No escaping us. Any orders for us? I got the tea. Who's got the biscuits? Any orders for us? At full speed. Locked and loaded. Tangent positions. Strike hard, strike fast. No mercy. Anybody call for big boomers? Time for tea and maintenance. Get your marks, it's tea time. Which way towards battle? Form up, form up. Making our way there, a soldiering life for me. Infantry on the move. Onwards. Officer approaching. Open fire.
Infantry standing by. Recon unit reporting. On all cylinders. His Majesty's own disappointment. Yes, Commander. Bring down the hood! Aha, uh -huh. standing by. Tank squadron reporting. Guard in the Empire. British infantry reporting. Bomber squadron ready for duty. Care package incoming. I commander. A soldiering life for me. Infantry on the move. Fighter squadron is here. Ready to put the fear of God on them. Bring down the hood! A soldiering life for me. Dead. We fended off the German counterattack. What joy! I feel 20 years younger. That was some fine soldiering, Bernard. Keep at it. In a jiffy, Royal Tank Busters are here. Coordinates received. Keeping the sky clear. AA artillery attacking aggressors. Locked and loaded. Sounds like a plan. Tommies are here. Double file, boys. British infantry reporting. No escaping us. The Saints are coming. Moving the clouds. I'm listening. Guarding the Empire. Stand by for a bumpy ride. Got a job for a tank? Be there in a jiffy. Got a job for a tank? At full speed. His Majesty's own disappointment. Leave none of them breathing. Tea time, everyone. Any orders for us? You can't hide. On the move. Tactical bomber standing by. Pray there aren't any flak cannons. Time to strike. British infantry reporting. Prepare to die. Recon units standing by. Tanks awaiting orders.
guarding the Empire. Coordinates received. Adjust and aim. Hit him! Target eliminated. Earthshakers are here. Infantry awaiting orders. Onwards. Guns of the United Kingdom. Sounds like a plan. Guarding the Empire. Tanks awaiting orders. Moving to coordinates. Bring down the herd! Form up, form up. Form up, form up. Pack up your troubles in your old kit bag. Keeping the sky clear. This is nerve-wracking. Where do you need us? Double file, boys. Need a scout? On a bombing run. Attacks on targets covered by enemy anti-aircraft units can cost you the loss of aircraft. On our way. Time to set up sentries. Making tracks. We bring the firepower. We'll be there. His Majesty's finest. Approaching target. On our way to the coordinates. No escaping us. Received. Heading there now. On our last bombs. Share these rations. Your aircraft are out of ammunition. In order to rearm, the aircraft has to land an airfield within supply zone. Carrier-based aircraft can use carriers as an airfield. Opening the bomb chute. Bombs hit for full effect. Ammo's about to run out. You know the rules and so do I. Coordinates received. No escaping us. Moving to the new quadrant. Our timing is always impeccable. Need a new payload. Got a job for a tank? in the Empire. Infantry awaiting orders. God, please don't be sentry duty. Giving it all we've got. Loaded to the brim. Ammo reserves empty. Got a job for a tank? Big Caliber standing by!
Aye, you better run! Guarding the Empire. We'll hold this for you at just an aim. Tank Squadron reporting. Coordinates received. Fire the main caliber! Kill confirmed. We're on the move again. Hammer reserves empty. Ready to make some craters. Need a new payload. Your aircraft is running out of fuel. In order to refuel, the aircraft has to land in an airfield within a supply zone. Carrier-based aviation can use carriers as an airfield. Tactical bomber standing by. On his majesty's service. On our way. Tank Squadron reporting. Commander. Form up, form up. Pack up your troubles in your old kit bag. Guarding the Empire. Loaded to the brim. I'm listening. You know the rules and so do I. We'll take point. The Royal Air Force is here. Any orders for us? On a bombing run. Commander. Guarding the Empire. Anti-aircraft gun standing by. Earthshakers are here. Ready to put the fear of God on them. Change in positions. Anybody call for big boomers? Cordon is received. Move, move, move. Ah, glad I have my flask. Affirmative. Is it dangerous there? Bombs away! Keep calm and bomb the bad guy. Moving the clouds, tactical bomber standing by. Bomber squadron ready for duty. God save the king. Open fire! Keep calm and bomb the bad guy. Making tracks. Ammo is about to run out. Ammo reserves empty. The Royal Air Force is here. Received. Heading there now. On our last bombs. Bombs away. Flying to designated coordinates. Ammo is about to run out. Greetings from the Isles. <laughs> Affirmative. Ready to put the fear of God on them. Ready to crack some tanks open. Hey you, catch! Enemies are in retreat. Locked and loaded. Come and get one in the orbals. Where do you need us? Key point is our- All the regional key points have been captured, General Brook. My forces are at the Siegfried line. Good work, General. Can't say the same about our allies. Bless their souls. 
The French have taken a bad walloping at the Warned Forest, and during their advance north of Bleebrook, doesn't look like there's much fight left in them now. Orders from up top are to dig in and await further instruction. General Alexander, your leadership at Sarland was downright exemplary. However, the political climate in Europe is getting more volatile by the day, and we have to cooperate closely with the French. They insist that we dig in, so there will be no further offensive action at Sarland. Gentlemen, how would you evaluate the outcome of the SAR offensive? We have achieved all of our objectives. I deem this operation a success. But did we go far enough? Why did we not capitalize on our advance? We could have kept the pressure on the Germans. Instead, we retreated. Prime Minister Chamberlain was hoping for a diplomatic solution. He wanted to use the Germans as a weapon against the USSR. My attempts to convince him otherwise bore no fruit. He has made a mistake. You cannot reason with a tiger when your head is in its mouth. Well, the partition of Poland has shown us the Soviets' true colors. Indeed. The USSR has revealed itself to be another great predator of this continent. And all the while the army is in decay. There's nothing worse for a fighting man than a long absence of action. Perhaps. But the conditions are not there for a successful offensive in Europe. Our troops are insufficient. Our communication with the French is far from perfect. The only rational move is to strengthen our defenses and prepare for the worst. That's not very optimistic, is it? Are you suggesting we sit and wait and give the Germans even more time to prepare an attack against France? Consider the alternative. Should we throw our troops into a European meat grinder like 30 years ago? No, sir. I must recommend we sit and we wait.